This is a condo. We actually got it through a mail lead and it was supposed to originally be super easy project. Just literally clean it out, list it. Our realtor came in and she thought, hey, you guys should probably do some repairs to it um, to help it sell. And it worked. I mean, we got multiple offers. Which seemed one. easy, but are now very regrettable. <laughs> so on this one, really the HOA was like the giant pain on this one. Um, yeah. I mean, it'll end up being a good deal for us since one we... We honestly tried really hard not to buy. The seller reached out to us like a million times. Um, they should have just listed it at the right price. Uh, they listed it too high. It was nice, but it was a, just a style that doesn't appeal to most people. Um, very kind of like European columns, tans, and green floor. Well, it makes sense. The dude was moving, the guy that sold it to us, he was moving to Italy, I think. Yeah, and it was all like done really well. It just was like not what anyone would ever want. Like there was like custom tile counters, which like he probably spent a lot of money on, but no one wants that. Um, so there's a lot of things that were like nice, but just like not what anyone living in a downtown condo wants. Oh, yeah. He, he was going to rent it. And then kept calling us back, like, hey, will you buy it? We kept telling him no, because um, he had it listed for 460 or 475 four, or something, somewhere in the 400s. Something like that. Um, and we just said, like, no, we don't want it. We'd be at like 250 or 260. And then um, he kept calling us back, like, hey, I'm, I have these renters moving in. Like, do you guys have contacts for painters? So we shared our contacts for painting. And then Eventually, he just said, hey, I really don't want to rent it. I'm going out of the country. I just want to sell it. Will you guys buy it? And we're like, we'll buy it, but we're at 270 Like, that works fine. If it doesn't, fine. Like, we're not, we're not budging. And then he was just like, okay, I'm in. So we, we bought it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and I, don't, I have no idea why they just didn't price drop it. Like, they could have price dropped it down to, like, 350 380 something like that. It probably would have sold, but... I mean, I'm glad we yeah, I mean, like he, I mean, he really liked um, one of our guys, David, and you know, they they talked a ton. He, you know, liked us, trusted us, just wanted the thing to be out of his life before he moved out of the country. So, I never understand why people don't price drop things to where they should be and just sell them, but sometimes they don't. So, who knows? Um, a really cool place. I wish it somehow made sense to keep, but there's a lot of things about this place that just like aren't practical at all. Honestly, I think that he didn't want to deal with selling it or price dropping it because his realtor sucked. She was the worst. Um, so on this, <laughs> terrible. So as Aaron mentioned, the realtor couldn't sell it. She pressed it at way too high at 450, 460 or whatever. Couldn't sell it. And so as soon as she found out that we were under contract with them, she tried inserting herself into the transaction. So she started making us try to fill out all these forms and she, um, what else did she do? Her biggest thing was just, I mean, she wanted to make sure she was going to get paid, yeah, which he, payday. our seller was like super kind. and was like, hey, you know, I'm to make sure she gets paid. Um, but she wasn't content with just getting the 3% for listing it. She wanted to get the 3% for listing it and yeah, the 3% sorry. on selling it. So she couldn't sell it for him, but was trying to make 6% on it. So, and like did absolutely nothing other than make things more complicated like when we were ordering the HOA uh, there was a way for us to do it save him 500 bucks she's like no we agreed to this and he's going to pay the full amount and we're like we don't need that like we'll save him $500 like we just need X, Y, and Z for the HOA and she's like no that's not what we agreed to so honestly a horrible agent who had zero interest zero of her client's interest in mind and I don't know why I don't know why he worked with her at all, but here we are. Yeah, and so other stuff that she did, um, so we asked her, I think it was still listed on the market when he was wanting us to buy it. So we, he, sorry. So we asked her to take it off the market so we could buy it off market, and she refused to, but she basically said, hey, if you give me $10,000, I'll take it off market. So she tried to make us bribe her. And then the other thing was with the 6%, what we were trying to do is saying, cool, if you want to take the full 6% commission, we're just going to bring in our agent, get the 3% from you, and then we'll credit that back to the seller. Because again, like we want to put more money in the seller's pocket. The agent did absolutely nothing to do their 6%, and she didn't do her fiduciary duty. So that's what we tried to do. And then she got really upset saying that, oh, I need to bring in my manager, this, that, the other. Um, terrible agent. Anyways. But but nice condo. 
That's condo though, so we'll, we'll take you through it. So as far as the renovations, we originally wanted to just list it as is, clean it out, but our realtor said, hey, with the market changing and with a lot of the weird uh, finishes Aaron was talking about, I would do some renovation, spend some money. The nice thing about this is that we had an exact, literally the house above us just sold, or the condo above us, same, same size, same floor plan. So we had pretty much a really good you know, target for what we needed it to look like to sell where we needed to sell it. We put in new countertops. Really love these countertops, actually. We went a little bit more higher end because it's a nice downtown condo, probably for some bachelor or something. Um, put in new cabinet hardware. These are the original cabinets. So we were thinking about painting it, but I think it turned out super well, just keeping the original cabinets. There was this uh, wooden lion situation up there. So, uh, I thought we were gonna not be able to match the stain, but somehow we, uh, we were able to get rid of the lion that made it look real strange. And, you know, actually looks pretty good. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. We repainted the interior and that includes painting the ceiling. So we made it black, like Aaron was saying, we modeled it after the other unit that just sold. And so they painted everything black. So we thought it do the same thing. It looks a lot more modern, looks a lot better. We changed these fans out. Um, all the light fixtures are new and you know, tie in a lot better and work with the handles and all that new stuff. But honestly, we didn't, it was pretty cosmetic. We didn't redo the bathrooms. We didn't um, do a whole lot. The floors were probably the biggest undertaking um, just cause you know, heavy equipment and stuff. And then, you know, patching some cracks and all of that that we didn't really expect, but they turned out really nice. Um, nice, you know, kind of a uh, industrial feel to them. So. Yeah, and then as far as the numbers go, we bought this for 270,000. We put about $25,000 into it. We should make around $75,000 on it. So our lender on this, lend us um, $270,000 to buy the condo. And in a little over three and a half months, he's going to make um, over $14,000 on that. So he's gonna get his 270 back and then 14 on top of that. Not a bad return for three months. Um, of course, if you have money sitting on the sidelines and you know are interested in something like this, reach out to me or Jason, glad to talk and see how we might be able to work together. We have a lot more videos like this coming where we're going to take you through deals and just show you the properties that we're buying. So make sure to subscribe.